All right, guys, welcome to Kitchen Daddy. This week, we're making an incredible side dish called boulanger potatoes. They're thinly sliced potatoes with some lightly caramelized onions cooked in chicken stock and thyme. Guys, this is an amazing family dish, easy to cook. Everyone's gonna love it, so come on, let's get into it. Right, to kick things off, let's get a pan on a kind of medium gentle heat. Now I'm gonna finely slice one large onion. Let's add a good splash of oil. I wanna get the onions in. We need a pinch of salt and a large knob of butter. And we're gonna cook those for about 10 to 15 minutes. I wanna get them nice and soft, a little light golden color on them, but we don't want them too caramelized. Now for the spuds, I'm using russets. They're really good because they've got a good bit of starch in them. If you can't find them, Desiree's or Maris Piper's, they will be absolutely fantastic. Now I know this is gonna sound quite basic, but the thinner we slice them, the quicker the cooking time. So I've sliced them about this thickness. Um, that's gonna be roughly about an hour's cooking time uh, for these. Um, and what I'm trying to do is make sure they're all roughly the same size. You know, a chef is gonna say they need to be absolutely precise and they'll use a tool called a mandolin to slice them very, very precisely. We're at home, do not worry about it. Don't break a sweat if one's a little bit bigger, one's a little bit smaller, but try and get them all roughly the same size. Okay, the onions are done, they look fantastic. So let's butter our baking dish and then we can start building the layers of potatoes. Let's get our first layer of potatoes into the tray. I've got some fresh thyme here. We're gonna give that a little shake so all those leaves can just fall off and sprinkle all over the potatoes. Now let's spread over some of those beautiful onions. I've also got some diced butter and we're gonna finish that off with some fresh black pepper. Now just keep repeating these layers until we reach the top of the baking tray. Now we're gonna pour over enough chicken stock to reach the top level of those potatoes. I also wanna brush that top layer with some butter and scatter over a little bit more thyme. Now let's get that in the oven, 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I wanna cook those for about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes so the potatoes have soaked up all that stock and that top layer is lovely golden and brown. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh, man. These are my favorite potatoes, hands down. I know that might sound a bit crazy, but you know, roast potatoes are amazing, but these are just stunning. They really are absolutely stunning. They've got so much flavor and they work really, really well. You know, you can have them with chicken, fish, uh, lamb, but you know what guys, I mean, potatoes and onions, beef. Just, I mean, oh, you either have that with a steak or some, some roast beef uh, on the weekend, absolutely stunning. So look, hope you enjoyed the recipe. Give us a thumbs up, leave a nice message below. Um, I've got to start doing a few of these quick ones, guys, because I'm, I'm kind of up to here with kiddie stuff at the moment. Um, so I'm just trying to find really good recipes which can be really helpful for you uh, that I could just knock out fairly quickly until I can catch myself a little bit of a break. So um, do me a favor, get in the comments, let me know if there's anything that you know, you're looking for which could be quite quick uh, to make, or you know, if you've got a favorite recipe, um, you know, stick it in there and uh, you know, we'll see if I can uh, give a little kitchen daddy twist, you know what I mean? So anyway, thank you again for all your support we've hit 6,000 subscribers come on get in there uh chuffed to bits about that guys you know one year on youtube and we've got six oh well over 6,000 subscribers now that is amazing um so thank you very much um i will be commenting okay i'll reply to your comments on uh, on sunday morning um but just keep them coming through the week and if i don't get back to you uh on sunday if you come in after that I'll get back to you the following uh, the following week. Anyway guys, take care. Cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>